Hello and welcome to Cute Anime Figures TV and I'm your host Craig and today we're going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. So these are the new TMNT Classic Collection figures and we're taking a look at two of the most popular uh, villains from the old Ninja Turtles cartoon and we're going to be having a look at Bebop and Rocksteady. Now these just um, been showing up at my local uh, Toys R Us store so uh, and obviously they'll be everywhere else but anyway so yeah these are the new uh, versions of Bebop and Rocksteady in the Classic Collection uh, series. Um, never had these as a kid, but they both look great. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at both of these two together in, uh, in our own video review. And let's check out Bebop and Rocksteady from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. Let's take a look. So here we are with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection by Playmates Toys in 2013. Um, so yeah, here we are with the classic villains from the classic Ninja Turtles cartoon, um, Bebop and Rocksteady. So, both of these two are from the original cartoon um, and as you can probably see they both look great in the packaging similar packaging to the main four turtles which I already have and I've already had a look at all four of the turtles and uh, these are just showing up uh, this year apparently actually um, you can probably get them from Toys R Us so many other uh, toy stores and that um, but anyway here we have Bebop and Rocksteady like I said earlier um, they both look great uh, they both of them come in these nice standard uh, collectors packaging just like the main four turtles and Let's take a look at Bebop. As you can see, he comes in his nice uh, standard packaging. And we've got all four of the turtles here. We've got Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. And it says uh, the Teenage Moon Ninja Turtles. And this is the same similar packaging, um, kind of similar to like the original packaging. You know, with the outburst in the background, the logo. And also we've got the new logo here, Classic Collection. And uh, this is here, um, inspired by the original animated, yeah, the animated series 1988. It says fully articulated figure. And it says Bebop here. Um, now, they come with like the correct accessories, um, you know, nothing over um big in there other than the only accessory that Bebop comes with is like a drill gun apparently something that uh, he probably used in the cartoon I haven't seen it in a while so also you get the uh, sewer lid display stands as usual which does say Bebop on there which I can see um, so I'll look at the packaging back the packaging for a Bebop 
So on the back here we've got, I'll show off Rock says in a minute. Um, it just gives you a little bit of description about the turtles themselves. Um, it says they're inspired by the original TMNT. Um, I was going to say cartoon, but anyway. It says they're inspired by the original TMNT animated series, 1988. Um, gives you a brief uh, bio of the turtles and then it also gives you a little bit about Bebop and Rocksteady and that so <coughs> and also you got a nice photo of all of them here and also you got a nice photo of them in toy form we've got Leonardo, Donatello, Rocksteady, Bebop, Michelangelo and Raphael now these are the only ones that are available in the classic collection at the moment. And that, um, so all you can get is the main four turtles and Bebop and Rocksteady. So um, I don't know what's coming out this year so we'll have to see what else there is, is coming out in the classic collection. Um, I hope to see April Neil and also um, Shredder and Krang obviously I would like to see but for now we've got Bebo and Rocksteady so let's take a look at Rocksteady's packaging now we've had a look at Bebob's I will open up Bebob in a few minutes right. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so um, here we are with Rocksteady and as you can probably see Rocksteady comes in the same similar packaging as Bebop and he also includes accessories as well also a removable hat also he does include a sewer lid um, display stand and also it, we've got the main four turtles on the packaging we've got Donatello Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael. We also have Rocksteady here and his nameplate there. And the same classic packaging as the main four turtles and also Bebop. Just inside of him here. And that. And uh, we've got the classic outburst here, like what it would be for the original uh, Turtles toys. Which um, I did have at one point, but uh, anyway, never had the packaging though for them. So, yeah, here we have the Turtles Outburst here. And also says Classic Collection there. It says, inspired by the original animated series, 1988. Larry Articulator figure. So yeah, these were just showing up um, this year, um, 2014, obviously in stores, and these actually came out last year. That, um, so yet again, the same background as Bebop's packaging. We got um, all four turtles. We've got a little bit of backstory about the main four turtles. We've got the backstory here for Bebop and Rocksteady and that. Um, and also we have all four uh, turtles in their figure form there and also Bebop and Rocksteady. And they're the only two uh, that are available and also uh, as well as the main four turtles. So that's all there is in the classic collection for now. Um, hopefully, I hope to see in April. I want to see in April in this series. Also, um, Bern Thompson, Vernon, Irma. I want to see everybody, uh, including Shredder, obviously. But who knows who they'll bring out? Um, we'll just have to wait to see. So. Anyway, let's actually get these two out of the packaging. I know I've talked a little bit um, 
about both of these. Uh, so let's actually get them out. And that's, uh, I'm going to open up Bebop here, and then I'll open up Rocksteady. So, same standard packaging, obviously. Let's uh, move that to the side there. Just gonna do this. Here, and we do get like a uh, thing for the oh, yeah, like a thing flyer here for the uh, Nickelodeon Turtles. Um, obviously, I haven't got all of these. I've got probably the main four: Splinter, Shredder, um, and a Foot Soldier. That's pretty much all I have for those. Um, it's not a bad cartoon. It's just that I've not had time to spend looking at it. I've seen the total calm. I so saw most things. And that. But anyway, you get that within here. Stuff, so. Can I put this down here? So, as you can probably see, here's Bebop in the plastic tray. Looks pretty good. Let's, um, oh, looks like we've got the twist ties again. This is nothing new, these twist tie things. Okay, so that's that there. Also, we've got a twist tie around the gun. They come with, uh, you know, just the weapons that they use. Um, other than other weapons, because put that in there. Obviously, back here, usually the sewer lid is actually separate, but other than that, they're uh, within the action also. An extra piece here. Pull that one up there. And get the bulb here. First time with uh, with a Bebop toy. First time I've ever had one. This is all I do. It's that. Just uh, put the packaging down here. So a lid, so there's Bebop on there, you got the classic Turtles uh, logo there and also it has two uh, foot pegs for the thing, for the figure, also the back there. Um, yeah, I think it had a little bit of wash on, uh, on the stand for the Turtles. I remember it's a little bit darker, but this is a little bit more lighter and plain. Well, I'm glad they included a stand. And uh, here's B Bob. Just fill all this on here. Ok, 
Okay. Very nice and neat. I know some can be actually stiff when you get them out packaging. You know, the articulation and everything. Can be a little bit stiff. There we go, that's better. kind of stands up um, alright and it's perfect you know got no marks or anything like that um, that that's a certain thing that I was looking for when I first saw these uh, I thought you know what I'll check them out from that let's actually get Rocksteady out now we've got Bebop I'll have a closer look at Bebop that's um, and his accessories got the drill gun there going on. Okay, we'll open up uh, box steady now. What's this? We'll get tape on here now. Power oh, seem to have. Uh, tape going on here. Excuse me for a few minutes while I just uh, set this out. It's like they don't want you to open up rock city. It has tape on it. Good thing I keep uh, something. get the same sort of um, booklet. I wish there was a booklet for the classic collection which will just show off all the classic collection figures but um, I guess they're still uh, testing that out uh, in the market I suppose for uh, classic toys. So that's that. Uh, put that one down there. We'll get Rocksteady out. <coughs> Excuse me for me uh, voice. <coughs> Here's the machine gun. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Looks like it comes with the machete. So let's get these twist tires as well. Everything has to have twist tires. Okay, take that out. 
that's his machete. I don't think there's anything else that can uh, have him holding that, I suppose. Um, well, when he's not holding it. <clears throat> okay. I think I've done these twist times. Pain in the sewer more. Here's a joke. I know I know so many packaging that's times figures down like this, I never know. Turtles figures out. Steady. Honestly, he's uh, kind of hard to stand up. Whoops. And obviously, the little hat is removable, like I said. Is removable. So now we've got them both out of the uh, packaging. That. So now we've got both of them out. <coughs> we'll have a look at the articulation and stuff. Uh, and that. I know some of the articulation can be quite tight on some classic figures. And that sense some can be quite loose. Okay, here's Rocksteady's uh, display stand. It's similar to B Bob's. Apart from it says Rocksteady on there. Pretty cool. Indeed. I'll go over the articulation for uh, both uh, B Bob and Rocksteady. I'll do uh, B Bob's first, just to leave Rock Steady there. By the way, he comes with a machete. Right. Um, I don't think there's any way you can display that other than in his hand, I suppose. So, both of my figures are perfect, and that, uh, as far as I no. Okay, here's uh, Bebop. Get a good look at that grin on his face. Really nice. Love the sculpted uh, 80s style uh, glasses. Yeah, it's kind of like a little mark there. It's not going to bother me. Well, anyway, um, got the skull. Got some grenades going on there. Got the chain around his waist as a belt. Got the uh, punk uh, wristbands. We've got the uh, shoes here. And that. Cool. For articulation, it has uh, a swirl in the head. Can swirl like that. Can actually look up and down a little bit. Got that ab crunch thing going on, but there's not much there. Um, that got the turtle shells here, very nicely detailed. 
Also, we've got the arms here, got the bicep articulation, like a double bicep, well, double jointed elbows. Got the uh, ball, the um, ball jointed uh, hands. Also, these things do swivel as well on the wrist. Can I get a really good? In there, kind of like a uh, pin and socket. And that kind of brings his arm up there, like that. The legs, um, I'm going go like to that about that far. Double jointed uh, knee joints, uh, you know, it only goes about that far. Also, he has swivels in his foot. Here. Also, he has the same articulation on this side. It's a little bit tight. Don't know what to do with that. Yeah, it seems to be a little. Yeah, there we go. Just loosen it up. So yeah, when you do get them. Um, they are quite tight, you know, with the articulation. Yeah, that seems to be working fine. So is that. And that there. You notice that they don't have toe articulation like the turtles do. Got the thing here for like some bullets and that. Got the back of the figure. It's great. The gun does fit in his hand, in either. And it does go uh, through his fingers. They're not just one mold, they're actually individual. They're not articulated though. So the gun does fit in there very snug and nicely. Got the peg holes under the feet <coughs> for the stand. And it does stand up quite good on its own. And there you go, that's uh, Bebop. I'll have a closer look at Bebop in a minute. Um, well, he's got that going in there, but I'll just show off uh, the articulation for Rocksteady now. So here's Rocksteady. Um, so I'll look at the accessories he comes with. Now he kind of doesn't want to uh, stand. That's. He comes with a machine gun. Uh, don't know what that's for there, really, but anyway, comes with that. And it's just like one color gray. Um, also, uh, the machete. Kind of wish that was like silver. Well, okay, that's that. Um, we've got here we've got Rocksteady himself. He does include a removable hat, and it's not painted, but yeah, it just fits on there by force. If you tip him upside down, yep, his hat does uh, fall off. But it is um, sculpted, shaped for his ears. And that. Get a good look at the detail in his eyes. Look at that beautiful detail there. Now I've seen another uh, rock study, but it kind of had some scuffs on his uh, nose there and his horn. Um, obviously, he is a rhino, and uh, obviously, Bebop is a warthog. And that. Yeah, look at the details there, got the uh, grenade on there, the green grenade. We got um, his yellow top on there, we got the army type uh, trousers going on there, we got like some camo going on. Like, it's grey trousers and like camo. Also got the turtle shells 
on there, you can see. Really nice and sculpted as well. Got the turtle shells on uh, Bebop there as well. No, there's nothing on the back for the uh, machete. No, see the nose there, very, very nicely detailed. It looks menacing. Got the uh, kind of like a bandana here around his uh, arm. That very nice. Also, he has a uh, very nice articulation in the arm as well. No. Very, very nice. Not very stiff at all. Um, so, and I'm just going to take that hat off for a moment. That's what it looks like without the hat on. Has the same uh, articulation as uh, his friend. It's a little bit tight. Also has swivel there. Uh, both of them ha do have that. And yet again, it's not very stiff on this side, so it's good. Can, uh, can bring his arms together there. That's very nice. He's got head articulation as well. I can look up a little bit, then mostly you can look down. It's like on a big ball joint. No. The belt's nicely detailed. Got the cut um, waist there. There's nothing much going on there. Also got the legs, can go out a little bit there. Got the double jointed knees. Also got the boot cut here going on. Very nice. That's um I've heard some point um these are like switched around. Uh mine looks fine in the moment. Yeah, mine looks fine. Also a boot cut there going on. No toe articulation like the turtles and no finger articulation. That but uh nicely sculpted in these trigger fingers. That very good indeed. He also does have the peg um in the like peg holes in the feet for the stand. Can we get a good look at that if we can. It does uh, stand up when you can get him to stand. Now here's the hat. So not only he includes like two weapons, he also includes a removable hat, which is just all painted green. Okay, good look at that. Good sculpt on the hat there, and obviously it's cut out for the ears as well. Stuff so. Uh, We'll just have the gun in this side. Got a very nicely uh, sculpted belt as well. Just like a brown belt. Yeah. The gun kind of fits in very nicely. And also with the mountain trigger fingers, it fits in perfectly within that. So I don't have to bend the finger right there. So if you want, you could have it. With both hands, I think. I think he could. Yes, indeed, he can hold it with both hands. Now that is perfect. Also you can have the hat there, but you can't really see much. Yes, you can actually hold it with both hands with the gun so it looks like he's firing. So that's that's good to see that you can actually hold it with both hands. Um with the articulation you see with the elbow articulation and that. He's also got the same bicep articulation as Bebop. I'm really well impressed with these classic turtles figures. 
Um, these are probably the best Turtles figures that I'm going to say that are out at the moment. That's, uh, that's good to know that he can actually hold the gun with both hands. That's nice. That's a really nice touch that. So, really loving that. Also, he can also hold his machete in the other hand. Kind of. Just have to work that in there. There we go. Can I turn it around the other way? Okay. So he can hold his machete in one hand and his gun in the other. That's great. It fits in there very snug. Kind of feels a little bit loose. Yeah, very nicely detailed. Um, also got the turtle shells here as well. Like I said, he's got peg holes underneath his feet and for the stand as well. That, uh, I do happen to have the turtles as well, uh, but they're on a the shelf. And that. But. Overall, I am impressed with both of these. I'm going to take a really good look at uh, Bebop here, and then we'll take a really good look at Rocksteady. So, just going to zoom up here on uh, Bebop. So you can see him from the back there. Very, very cool indeed. Um, from the details and the color of the two villains, spot on, show accurate. Um, obviously these are updated versions of the uh, classic toys, um, but like I said before, I never had these before and for the first time, um, it's great to see these out in uh, retail. It's great to see uh, classic Ninja Turtles toys uh, coming back, and it's great to see classic figures. In there. But these two um, retail for about fourteen ninety nine, like fifteen a piece. Um, that's kind of a little bit harsh for a classic figure. Um, I can't remember um, what the tails were. Obviously, the tails were probably that price as well, but anyway, um, so that's uh, B Bob. Looking pretty good and menacing. Very nicely stands on the stand there. The sneakers look really good. Look like those similar sneakers that uh, Marty McFly wears in uh, Back to the Future. Kind of reminded me of those type of sneakers. Also, uh, Rocksteady here um, wears the army typed brown boots and that and stuff. But like I said before, the hat is removable, so that's good. Um, they both have good articulation, that very poseable indeed. They both hold on to the weapons um, very well indeed. The grenades are non-removable, it's just part of the sculpt. So, here's Rocksteady. And that looks pretty good. And uh, I'm glad that I picked up these ones. Really glad I picked them up. Very, very cool. Very good. They look a little bit... Um, too much menacing, but obviously there were two uh, goofballs in the uh, in the cartoon. You know they're like always bumping into one another and uh, always messing up things for Shredder and that. But 
I am just so happy to see both of these uh, come out. I I had no idea uh, they were even going to release Be Bob and Rocksteady until uh, till last year, but um, yeah, I am super impressed with both of these figures. Um, definitely recommend picking up both of these together as a set. Um, even though they do retail for fourteen ninety nine. Um, like fifteen pound, obviously over here. Um, I'm not too sure what they retail uh, in in America, but in the US. But anyway, um, you can find both of these at Toys R Us. Actually, they don't seem to have them online. Um, I checked, but they only seem to show off the four turtles, and they retail for the same price, obviously. Um, definitely go to your store and check on the shelf. Uh, they actually had four of these at one of my local stores. Uh, they had two B-Bobs and two Rocksteady's. Um, I think they still got them lifelike, but, uh, I don't know. But obviously, always look at both of them. Make sure they have the guns, you know, the accessories. Make sure they have, uh, perfect uh, detail um, on them, like no paint splats or any scuffs on the noses or the trousers or anything on the figure. Um, I just happened to find another Rocksteady there which did kind of have some paint scuffing on his uh, nose and that, but I, uh, I didn't pick that one up, I put it back on the shelf. Um, but anyway, always look at your figures before uh, before you buy them. Um, I know another local store near us, I think, um, near me, that do have them. And uh, when I checked, I only checked Bebop. I think they only had one available, I think. But I didn't try check at Rocksteady. But I had a feeling that I was going to run into both of these, uh, probably on another trip to uh, TRU, to Toys R Us. But yeah, both of these look great. Um, B-Bob and Rocksteady, absolutely excellent figures, um, I don't know if I can just, uh, get the turtles here just for comparison, um, if you bear with me a few minutes while I go and get turtles. So, yeah, I do happen to have all four of them, by the way. I happen to have uh, Nani here, Donatello. I also happen to have Ra. So here's Ra. Also, I happen to have uh, Leonardo. Now, I know um, the turtles have kind of some... They have the uh, articulation in the toes and fingers. That that, that was pretty good, uh, what they did then. And, that, and I think they kind of... Um, not... Decided not to do that for Bebop and Rocksteady, obviously. to have Michelangelo here. They are a little bit fragile though. But I do happen to have uh, all four of the turtles. I'm just gonna put Mike here. Let's kinda zoom out here so you guys can see all the turtles. So 
as you can probably see, I have all four turtles. And also, uh, you've unlocked C. Just move this out of the way so you guys can get a really good look at them. And that's, um, you can probably see in the scale. Um, they're actually, I think, Bebop and Rocksteady are a little bit uh, smaller than the turtles. And like I said before with the sewer lids, they are a little bit, got like a little bit of dark uh, wash to them. Um, and the others are just like this uh, grey. That. As you can see, they both look great. Um, got all four of the turtles, obviously, as I'm a huge fan of Ninja Turtles. Uh, we've got V-Bob, also we've got Rocksteady here. Yeah, they look both good. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go into my final thoughts here and uh, finish this up. And I think I'm just going to leave the four turtles here at the moment um, in the background. So I do happen to have uh, Raph here in the background and Michelangelo as well. And they all have... Uh, the weapons as well and they're all in uh, kind of accurate um, to the show so that's nice uh, to have uh, some Ninja Turtles toys that are really really well detailed and really accurate I'm just going to put Bebop on here on the thing and that and a rock steady as well you can probably not see Mike there. Mike is in the background. That's uh, within these two up here. You can probably put all the turtles around here. And so, just zoom out there. Bring them around. Might not be able to see Raph that much. Um, I don't know if you can see Raph. But it's here as well. So let's go with my final thoughts on the Bebop and Rocksteady uh, figures from Playmates Toys. I'm just going to put the boxes in the background here. Obviously, uh, some of them don't stand up as good. Like. <laughs> that um, yeah, I don't stand up stand up that well the packaging kind of want to fall back there okay I'm just gonna leave it like that I don't know packaging in the background there looks like they actually just bursted out of the packaging and just you know punched the way out and just left it um, Anyway, final thoughts for Bebop and Rocksteady from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Classic Collection. Uh, they're both perfect. Um, there's no uh, paint splats or anything like that, um, other than on Bebop's glasses at the top, but it's not uh, too bad. Anyway, um, yeah, definitely highly recommend picking these two classic figures up. Um, like I said before, they both retail for $14.99 at your local Toys R Us stores and probably everywhere else. Same price um, at local Toys R Toys uh, stores. And that's... Uh, I guess they're Toys R Us again, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised these two are not Toys R Us exclusives, um, I don't think they are, but they are available everywhere, so that's good. 
Um, I'm not too sure if we're going to see Shredder or Krang or anybody else like, but um, I'm just glad to see two of the most iconic uh, villains to be released in a classic action figure form. I'm just glad to see uh, that this classic series is still going. Uh, I would like to see more characters to come out from it. Uh, other than I know we've got all four turtles, that's great. And now we've got the two uh, mute, two classic mutants, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Overall, if you are a really big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, definitely, definitely pick up Bebop and Rocksteady. Also, if you happen to do see all four turtles, I highly recommend picking up all four turtles as well as Rock, Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, I haven't seen all four of these in stores for quite a long time because uh, recently I've only seen Bebop and Rocksteady on the shelf. Um, but overall, I'm super happy to have them and I'm super happy to have them as part of my collection and I definitely highly recommend adding these to your classic uh, toy collection as well. Um, that's just about it. Um, all I've got to say is that they are good. Um, let's see if they actually do re uh, release a Shredder. Let's see what happens this year. Um, I don't know what they're going to be doing. Um, as far as Ninja Tales are concerned, I know they are doing the, I think they're doing the main four again. For the classic collection, I think, for the 1990 movie. I'm not too sure, but hopefully, somewhere I've read, um, the world probably going to do in the main four again. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring out Irma or any other characters like April and that. I would love to see those and Vernon. <laughs> it's nice, it'll be nice to see Vernon. And you know all the classic characters, even Drag, and uh, I forgot who that old character is. And I think uh, Casey Jones was in the cartoon. I kind of think. No, I don't know. Um, I haven't watched it in a long time, so hopefully we do see Casey. I know I had a Casey toy once, but okay. I'm just gonna um, wrap this up. Uh, and uh, so yeah, they're both great figures, definitely got some good articulation, uh, they're super nicely detailed, uh, they're awesome, um, so yeah, definitely highly recommend picking them both up if you're a big Turtles fan, and uh, I think I prefer the classic collection to the new uh, CGI ones. Uh, but they're not too bad. I, I have a few, but I haven't had a chance to open them up yet. But uh, I think I'll keep them uh, packaged. But anyway, these classic collection figures are great. It's nice to see them, and I would love to see classic um, modern action figures in retail uh, more often. I would uh, love to see that happen. Uh, I would love to see more characters co to come out from this classic collection and uh, yeah you can post uh, your comments below or questions below the video and obviously there will be photos at the end of this uh, review and also a display video and that and I just want to say I absolutely love both of these characters and yeah, I just can't believe that I actually do actually own Bebop and Rocksteady, so um, I'm just so excited to have them. And also now I've got all four turtles and also two of the villains. I can only hope to see the rest of the characters from the original cartoon. And uh, I'd love to see they do all the other cartoons as well. The other two um, animated series. Uh, fast forward back to the sewer. Um, the uh, 2000 uh, Ninja Turtles. 
I love to see those uh, come out as well and all the other characters. Also I love to see Next Mutation that would be a really good idea to see the Next Mutation Turtles within this classic collection style um, so yeah other than that definitely go ahead and pick up both of these figures and also the main four turtles like I said earlier and yeah that's pretty much it all I've got and I'll see you guys very soon until next time you can always watch out look out for more uh, turtles reviews on Kit Anime Figures TV um, I don't know if I'm going to be having a look at the CGI turtles um, you know the new cartoon I don't know uh, it probably depends but I can probably say if there is any more classic turtles we'll have a look at those for sure um, and try and gradually get every character um, that comes out as soon as they can but anyway until then everybody thanks for watching and I'm just going to say I think they look fantastic and I definitely recommend them to everybody out there that is a big fan of turtles and yeah that's all I've got to say and I'll see you guys very soon until then take care bye guys see you very soon for another review and here's a nice display video showcasing all four turtles and be Bob and Rocksteady on display. Till then, take care. So here we are with classic collection of uh, B Bob and Rocksteady from the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection, and as you can see, they both look good on display. And uh, here are all four of the turtles. Skin policy. Um, got all four of the turtles here. No. They're all here. And stuff. So, uh, yeah, they all look great on display. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. Um, if you're a big Ninja Tales fan, definitely check them out. And that's all I can say. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys very soon. Until then, take care. Cute anime. Yeah,